Day 42, we only have two more days left until everything has to be transmitted to the Senate and vice versa. So there were no committee hearings this, uh, today. Well, I shouldn't say no, but none for me. Just a few committees met today. Uh, the House floor session started at 10 a.m. and went all day long. And we're just trying to hear all of the bills on second and third reading that have gotten through committees so that we can send them over to Senate. It's basically like catch up time. Uh, we, I'm just going to highlight a few of them. We actually heard 25 bills just in the morning session and about that many in the afternoon session also. And I should emphasize that, you know, we agree on probably 20 out of 25 um, or close to it. So we are getting the work of the state done and we are agreeing on most of it. But there are just some glaring instances where we disagree and um, I can't not talk about it. So House Bill 299 um, named a section of highway for two slain officers and um, three people voted against it. I, I, they didn't say why. You, I guess maybe just look at the vote and remember that. House Bill 391 required parental consent, not parental notification, um, for women under 18 having an abortion. So I just wanted to say thanks, old men, for deciding what's good for us. House Bill 417 was an eminent domain bill, and the companies wanted us to vote no on it, and the government wanted us to vote no on it, and a yes vote was for people, and it passed. I was really, really happy about that. I um, did not like that it took out a six-month language regarding lawsuits, um, and I still voted for it. This afternoon, we heard House Bill 265, which yet again was another bill to raise the limits on campaign finance, and Representative O'Neill stood up and said, you can't vote against this because that would be voting against our free speech. Don't limit our free speech. So I always love it when one of them says that money is speech. Really? What planet are you from? And House Bill 329 would have pro did does prohibit the state employees from being proponents or opponents of a bill in a hearing. And the problem with that is that every single one of us on both sides of the aisle brings a bill to make government work better. And it usually has something to do with some kind of a government department. And the person who knows the most about how that department runs is someone who works for the department. So... Um, it's kind of a problem. This bill really hinders the work that we do. Um, and I was really offended when someone made a distinction between state employees and actual citizens, you know, because the people who do the work of our state, the work that matters, our state employees, they're not citizens. Um, someone should tell someone that all these non-citizens are working for the state of Montana. House Bill 384 was the gun bill that we heard on reconsideration, um, and it got passed. So they amended it, um, and it it prevents schools from expelling students for um, gun-related violations. It's not nearly as bad of a bill. Um, it's just kind of a waste of time at this point, actually. House Bill 450 um, was regarding lawsuits on hospitals and insurance companies. And I stood up and said, same thing I've said on these videos. You know, we hear from hospitals that want money for the services they provide. No one's arguing about that. We hear from insurance companies that want to pay as little as they can. And we all know that when something happens, insurance companies point the finger at each other and say, you pay, no, you pay, no, you pay. We all know somebody who's been stuck with the bills because they can't get their cases handled. Handled. And um, I was disappointed that that passed and um, it had a retroactive applicability date of like December 1st of 2010. And when we asked in committee why the retroactive applicability date, it's because there are nine um, class action cases in court. And if we put this retro retroactive applicability date on, it takes care of all of those lawsuits. So nothing like passing legislation in Montana to settle lawsuits. 
House Bill 553 would allow folks to get a permit to do open cup mining while their application is being processed. So you put, you complete your application, you fill in all the blanks, and while they're processing your application, you can uh, open cut mine um, for gravel is I think what most of the folks on the floor were talking about today while they're deciding whether or not you have um, met all the requirements to actually do that. We saw five blast motions today. One was a great bill from a Republican, House Bill 480, that would promote film production in Montana. It's not going to be reconsidered. It only got 44 votes. House Bill 319 was a bill that I've talked about in several different public places and on these videos. It provided for um, transition mental health services for severely emotionally disturbed teenagers um, transitioning into adulthood. And uh, Carolyn Pease Lopez did a great job of saying, you know, it was gun beak, gun week in the House of Representatives. And even the, the NRA said, don't take away our guns, but do fund um, mental health services. But Montana is going to is going to promote guns and put guns everywhere, but also not fund mental health services for the tune of five thousand dollars over four, five million dollars over four years. Um, can't afford it. Not important enough. House Bill 441 would provide that insurers have to pay for mammographies when a doctor says that a woman under the age of 40 is at really high risk and has had family uh, immediate family members die of the disease and needs to have a mammography. And um, we're not going to require insurance companies to do that because we don't do mandates. No more mandates in the state of Montana. So that only got 52 votes. The mental illness bill only got 48 votes. I tried to, to blast House Bill 490, again, the Higher Montana First Act, and they talked in circles around it just like they did the first time and came up with all kinds of BS excuses to put the free market in front of Montanans. And um, I got 45 votes, so I got one more than I had the last time. House Bill 361 was the bill to give $400 in property tax rebates to, prop to every property owner in the state. It only got 38 votes, so none of the blast motions today um, met the 60 votes requirement, and none of them will be put on second reading. Um, tomorrow morning, we're going to start at 8 and go all day long again, just trying to get these bills through so that we can leave on Thursday, and then on Monday, it'll be back to committee hearings, only it'll be Senate bills that we're hearing for the rest of the time. <sighs> you elected them. I hope you're fired up to campaign. Thanks for sending me. It's an honor to represent Butte. And I know that I represent 10,000 sane and humane people. And based on the things I'm hearing coming out of the mouths of some of these representatives, not everyone must represent 10,000 sane and humane people. So thanks, Butte. I am really, really, really proud to be here on your behalf. Have a good night.